Hello everyone, you're watching Newegg TV. I'm Jennifer, and today I'm going to be going over this set of Battlefield 4 skin peripherals from Razer. I have the Destructor 2 mouse mat and the Taipan mouse. So let's take a look at everything that comes in the boxes first. We have a little code here that allows you to get a Razer Snake dog tag for your character in Battlefield 4. Also, you get your Razer badges, a little advertisement for the additional Razer peripherals that are available that are badged Battlefield 4, and you can check out our videos on these as well. We have your quick start guide for the Razer Taipan and a quick little thank you from Razer for purchasing one of their products that is also badged Battlefield 4. I will get to the mouse in a moment. Moving on to the mouse mat, it comes in a Battlefield 4 badged hard case so that you can transport it safely with you. Uh, items like this mouse mat should not be left in a hot vehicle for any length of time, so even if you have it in the carrying case, make sure you don't leave it in your car because it could warp. Also, your congratulations letter from Razer with Battlefield 4 badging and another code for a Razer Snake dog tag for your Battlefield 4 character, some more Razer badges, and the actual mouse mat itself. All right, so starting with the mouse, we have seven feet of braided cable ending in a gold-plated USB connector. It has nine programmable buttons that are usable with the Synapse 2.0 software. So go ahead, when you purchase this, download the software first and start your Synapse account. It'll work with all Razer peripherals. So like I said, we have nine programmable buttons, two on each side, your left and right mouse click, two here on the top, and the wheel itself. Now this is ergonomically designed to be ambidextrous. You have rubber grips on both sides, and it is comfortable for any style of um, gameplay. Razer kind of prides themselves on studying how gamers grip mice, and so they incorporate that into their ergonomic design. On the bottom, you have three ultra-slick feet and then two sensors. Now, there's one laser sensor and one optical sensor in this system for a maximum of 8,200 DPI. You get 1,000 hertz of ultra-pulling and 200 inches per second of acceleration. Moving on now to the mouse mat. The surface of this mouse mat actually has small bits of silver flake incorporated to allow for the sensors of the mouse to reflect off of it more accurately. It's slightly texturized. If you run your hand over it, it feels a little bit like a cat's tongue. But the mouse, um, I'm sorry, the mouse with its slick feet actually slides over it very easily. On the bottom, there is a rubberized texture that grips to the desk surface or whichever surface you are putting it on to give it a nice firm footing while you're gaming. There's also a video on the standard Razer mouse mats available on a Newegg TV that you can take a look at as well as most likely a regular video for the um, unskinned Taipan mouse if you wanted to get a little bit more information on that. Well, that wraps up this product overview of the Battlefield 4 skin peripherals from Razer. If you found this video informational or helpful, please like it and subscribe to our various YouTube channels. Until next time, I'm Jennifer, and thank you for watching Newegg TV.